Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio. Privately owned company ProLevo Bio has a platform technology with which it aims to personalize formulations in synergy with the circadian rhythm. In September of last year, the company carried out a rights issue of 3 million Swedish kuna, and now it's time for another financing round. I am joined by CEO Sahil Gupta, who will tell me more. Welcome, Sahil. Thank you, Cecilia. So, first of all, what problem does your company aim to solve? We aim to target hypothyroidism. With our formulation, which is a thyroid hormone formulation, mimicking the natural release cycles, also called as the circadian rhythm. And how big is this problem with hypothyroidism? Uh, 750 million patients suffer worldwide from the disease. They are prescribed the current formulation with the inactive T4 hormone. However, for 15 to 20 percent of these patients, the formulation does not work. 600 million are dissatisfied and for 150 million, they are non-responders to the current therapy. You mentioned here that for, for a huge amount of people, the drug simply doesn't work. Why is that? So the formulation, like I said, is with inactive T4 hormone that they're being administered. But these patients simply cannot convert the inactive T4 hormone to the active T3 hormone. Our formulation with the active T3 hormone biomimics these natural release cycles. So they're specifically tailored for these non-respondents. And how come you chose hypothyroidism to focus on in the first instance? So that is an interesting question. Um, 15 to 20 percent of these patients are non-respondent to the current therapy. However, they are being told that this is due to their lifestyle choices rather than a genetic predisposition that these patients suffer from. Interestingly, around 80 to 90 percent of these patients are women. And in the last 70 years, there has been no significant innovation in the field. Only in the last decade, we have seen scientific literature coming out and the European and Thyroid Association and the American Association guidelines advocating for an alternative treatment. So we believe it's high time that there's a solution in market for these patients. And if we turn to the technology, is that patent protected at the moment? So it is patent pending indeed. We have a priority application filed in 2022 and a very positive assessment from the European Pet, uh, Patent Office. And like I mentioned in the introduction here, you are conducting a financing round. How much are you raising this time around? Approximately 3 million euros. And the obvious follow-up question, how are you going to use the money? So most of these proceeds will go to execution of the phase one trial in R&D, production, and for the strengthening our IP portfolio and also preparing for the phase two. And what are the timelines for this phase one study? So we plan to initiate the phase one in quarter three of 2023 with an expected end date of quarter one, 24. And as a final question then, could you tell us a little bit about what this study will be focusing on? So the study will have a primary objective to have a pharmacokinetic profile, which essentially means validating if our formulation does what we think it does. We will also be comparing our uh, formulation with the existing immediate release alternatives that is out there. Well, then we've had a bit of an insight into ProLevy Bio, the uh, technology, as well as the upcoming financing round. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you so much for your time, Cecilia.